Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anan Brand Wax Deers. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's Kitchen is a Chata Kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with with Anand Brand Wax Deers. The Festival of Lights glows once again in many nations. Let's take a trip and find the interesting variations. Some are quiet and simple, and others filled with family and friends. Join us now for Diwali Passport on WESN. On this edition of Diwali Passport, we journey to India. With 1.4 billion people, 28 states and 8 union territories, Diwali is the biggest and most important holiday of the year for the country. Apart from the almost 80% Hindu population, the festival is also celebrated by Jains and Sikhs. Depending on the state and religious beliefs, people celebrate differently. To experience some of the most unique observances of Diwali in India, we must visit a few states. Let's begin with Punjab, the land of five rivers. This state is filled with zest to celebrate festivals with enthusiasm and eagerness, which runs in the blood of Punjabis. Although Punjab has a massive population of Sikhs, Diwali is widely recognized and celebrated. But Sikhs celebrate Bandi Chor Divas, the Day of Liberation, in a manner similar to Diwali. However, their celebration is to commemorate the anniversary of the release of Guru Hargobind in the year 1619. He was the sixth and last Guru of Sikhism. Some families go to the Gurudwara or Sikh temple to light candles and pray, as well as decorate their homes. Visiting family and friends and sharing food and sweets is also the norm. But the most concentrated celebrations take place at the famous Golden Temple in Amritsar. It commands tens of thousands of visitors who light candles and diyas along the shore of the pond. And after the traditional prayer, enjoy the amazing fireworks. And now it's over to Varanasi, located in the state of Uttar Pradesh, from where most of the Indian indentured immigrants came. It is one of the holiest cities in Hindu mythology. Varanasi observes a different kind of Diwali, called Dev Dipawali, because here Diwali is considered an occasion for mortals, while Dev Dipawali is the festival of the gods. And though both are festivals of light, they're extremely different in rituals. Dev Dipavali marks Lord Shiva's victory over the demon Tripurasur and comes 15 days after Diwali. On this auspicious day of Dev Dipavali, a large number of devotees come together to take a dip in the holy Ganges. The many ghats, which are the steps leading down to the riverbank, are filled with light and happiness as people pray to Goddess Ganga, offer flowers and light diyas in the evening. Every part of the city is adorned with bright colors and glowing diyas, and there is even a spectacular laser light show. Interestingly, in 2021, the UP government held a hot air balloon festival to add to the occasion. Another part of India where Diwali is very different is Kolkata, the capital of the eastern state of West Bengal, and as opposed to Mother Lakshmi in most places, this city celebrates Mother Kali. 
From private family devotions to larger gatherings at the temples, Kali Ma is most present. Mother Kali is the goddess who is also called the destroyer of evil. Depicted mostly as black or blue, her fierce, powerful appearance signifies terror and death to the demons. Light plays a significant role here too, as the city streets are decorated with colorful electric displays. Every part of the city is lit up at night and the Kali Puja rituals take place. Apart from Bengal, states such as Orissa, Tripura and Assam also have areas which celebrate Kali Puja. And now to our last trip inside of India. We go to the southwestern coast of the country and a state that was once ruled by the Portuguese. Here we are in Goa. This state attracts large numbers of international and domestic tourists to its white sand beaches, active nightlife and places of worship. For their Diwali, a central figure is the demon Narkasur and it's common to see large depictions of the character all over. And just like the burning of Rawan in other states, people here burn effigies of Narkasur. It signifies Lord Krishna's defeat of the demon who used to rule over Goa. In fact, there are even competitions to see who makes the biggest and scariest effigy. A popular tradition in Goa and all over the world is the making of rangulis, which can be seen in most homes during the festival. A ranguli is a beautiful handmade design on the floor using flower petals, colored sand, dried flour and colored rice. But rangulis are more than just simple designs. The deeper significance is to stop any evil from entering your home. And that's a wrap for our four location trip to India's most diverse Diwali celebrations. I'm Shamji. Join us again for another Diwali Passport on WESN. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like Ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's kitchen is a Chata kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun in Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy to use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with Anand Brand Wax Deals. Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anand Brand Wax Deals.